SpaceX, the aerospace company founded by Elon Musk to revolutionize space technology, seems to always be at the center of the world's attention these days. Not really surprising considering the leaps it has made in the year since its inception. From the space tourists to NASA's opposition, everyone has an opinion on the company, both positive and negative. Keep on watching to get the latest news on SpaceX. First, orbital Starship might take off in March. Elon Musk gave the first major update on Starship in over two years at a news conference in South Texas. The CEO of SpaceX said the first orbital flight of Starship could happen as soon as March. Starship is the most powerful rocket ever built, towering at a height of 390 feet. While Musk said that failure is definitely a possibility, he's very confident that the orbital takeoff will take place by the end of the year. He encouraged the crowd to join in on the enthusiasm by cheering, let's make it happen. Though both NASA and Musk are looking forward to Starship's successful flight, that's where the overlap ends. NASA plans on utilizing the reusable Starship to send astronauts to the moon by 2025. Musk, on the other hand, plans on creating a city on Mars by sending a fleet of Starships, holding both people and equipment. His long-term plan is to colonize Mars and make humanity a multi-planet species. Though for now, the initial flights will only be carrying SpaceX satellites called Starlinks. He admitted that there will be some bumps in the road, so starting with the satellite and test missions would allow them to smooth them out before starting to send people. Though SpaceX's first stage booster, called Super Heavy, has not yet taken off, the Starship itself took off and successfully landed on its own last May, though not before a sequence of striking explosions. The rocket ship managed to cover more than six miles. Possible delays. The aerospace company is waiting on a approval to send the spaceship into orbit by the Federal Aviation Administration. Musk estimated that the approval would come through March and SpaceX would be ready to take off then as well. However, if there are any lawsuits or if the FAA calls for more information on the environmental impact, Musk said the launch site might have to move to Florida to NASA's Kennedy Space Center. This would delay the Starship launch into orbit by over six months, since the full-size Starships are taller than all of NASA's moon rockets. Both old and current, the liftoff thrust is double those of NASA's rockets. Future plans. Other than the launching site at the southern tip of Texas and Cape Canaveral in Florida, Musk stated that the, in the future, starships could take off from any floating ocean platform in the world. He further spoke of his version of the rapid reusability of starships, where they could be launched around three times per day. There would also be a space refilling station for long destinations like Mars. He added that refilling tests could start by the end of 2023. Moving on to the cost of Starship launches, he estimated that it would likely cost less than $10 million. It could even cost down to a couple of million dollars if there's a high fly rate, as that would bring down prices. According to him, these prices are ridiculously good compared to current space standards. Starship already had a slew of waiting passengers for a flight around the moon, bought by a private customer, a Japanese entrepreneur will be taking around a dozen artists along with him. Musk hinted at more potential buyers, saying there would be announcements in the future. In the past, SpaceX has depended on their smaller Falcon rockets to send astronauts, cargo as well as satellites for NASA to the International Space Station. Bought by a billionaire, it had its first private launch in September. The next one will be at the end of March, en route for the space station. It'll be hosting three businessmen, paying 55 million dollars a piece. NASA also has exciting plans for the Starship, specifically their Artemis program. This program aims to create sustainable means for human presence around and on the moon within the next 10 years. Though, as we mentioned before, the first crewed moon landing under the Artemis program won't be taking place earlier than 2025, despite the agency initially aiming for 2024. Past troubles with launch. SpaceX had originally planned to launch Starship on its first orbital test by January or February, but it was dependent on the FAA completing their programmatic environmental assessment of SpaceX's launch site in southern Texas's schedule. Musk had been hoping to launch a dozen more starships after the planned launch in January. Unfortunately, the assessment couldn't take place on December 31st as planned, as the FAA pushed the date of the PEA back to February 28th. The reasons given were based on the number of comments on the draft 
PEA along with discussion efforts with consultation parties. They further mentioned there were more than 18,000 comments given on the draft PEA released on September 17th. If the next Starship launch goes according to plan, the Super Heavy should land in the Gulf of Mexico briefly after liftoff. The Starship, on the other hand, will take one round around Earth and splash back in the Pacific Ocean, near the island of Kauai in Hawaii. Other SpaceX news, rocket predicted to crash into the moon, not from SpaceX. Part of a rocket that is headed to crash on the moon could be a booster from a Chinese launch and not from SpaceX as considered previously. Astronomer Bill Gray spoke about a booster from a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket in his blog, Project Pluto. He predicted that the booster which had been floating around for nine years may crash on the moon. But last week, he provided an update on the situation and said that new evidence showed that the unknown object was a rocket booster from China's Chang'e 5T1 launch from 2014. He decided on the change after he received an email from John Chiorghini, an engineer at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who works on tracking active spacecraft. Giorgini, referring to Gray's original post, said that JPL's Horizon system showed that the trajectory of SpaceX's spacecraft, Discover, did not quite go that close to the moon. This led Gray to search for other past launches that could have been responsible for the object, and found that the likeliest suspect was China's Chang'e 5T1, though he stated that the evidence is technically circumstantial, he is mostly convinced. So according to him, the object that is set to crash on the moon on the 4th of March 2022 is from China's Chang'e 5T1 rocket. 40 SpaceX satellites set to plummet to Earth due to a geomagnetic storm. A very strong geomagnetic storm has sent around 40 of SpaceX's Starlink satellites plummeting back towards Earth. On February 3rd, the company launched a Falcon 9 rocket holding 49 satellites from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The geomagnetic storm came a day later and pushed around 40 satellites back to Earth, where they will burn up in the atmosphere. The 49 satellites were orbiting at a distance of around 130 miles from Earth. The low orbit was initially for ease in case of a post-launch failure, so the satellites could be disposed of. Unfortunately, that also left them vulnerable to geomagnetic storms. SpaceX stated that the atmospheric drag had increased by 50% more than the other launches due to the storm. Though they attempted to put a stop to the quick deceleration of the satellites, the drag was too intense. But they reassured the public that their satellites are made to disintegrate on re-entrance. SpaceX tourists plan to try spacewalking during flight. After flying to this International Space Station and orbiting Earth in their space capsule for three days, a group of space tourists would like to attempt the spacewalk. Spacewalking is one of the most dangerous things you can do in space. As this year's ends, four private astronauts might launch to space in SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule. One of the four astronauts will be billionaire Jared Isaacman, who was a part of SpaceX's initial space tourist mission last year. Sometime during their five days orbiting Earth, at least one member will be exiting the spacecraft to attempt a spacewalk. This will be the first time in history that a non-government astronaut will attempt a spacewalk. According to Sandra Magnus, a retired NASA astronaut, spacewalking is the riskiest thing they do as astronauts. She further explained that the person doing the spacewalk is in a one-person spaceship and is attached to the outside of the vehicle by a wire. SpaceX and Mr. Isaacman announced that this mission will be the first in a program by the name of Polaris. They said that the purpose of Polaris is to demonstrate new technologies as well as to conduct substantial research. Mr. Isaacman has plans to work alongside SpaceX on two future missions. One, aboard Crew Dragon, as we previously mentioned. Crew Dragon is also the vehicle NASA depends on to transport its astronauts to the space station. The other will be aboard the Starship, SpaceX's most ambitious project. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Starship launch? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.